Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, I wanted to share this cool way I found to kind of randomly chop samples using two Max for Live devices. Um, one is the good old granulator. And then the other is a um, Max for Live device um, by Woolg. So with these two together, you can randomize certain things in Granulator so that um, you kind of can randomly generate a, uh, a little phrase of some samples. So I've been experimenting with different note lengths for this process, and I found that just half notes on um, the regular just C3 because you don't want to pitch the sample up or down or maybe you want to but um, if you just put it on C3 it'll just play the sample at its regular uh, pitch but just random parts of it so just drag that whole song into granulator here and then uh, you can hear So that is just playing this one part. The file position will, you can change the file position. And that, that already sounds pretty good, but that's just because it's a really good sample. Um, to say goodbye by Paul Desmond, which I heard on KMHD, and so I had to Shazam it. Um, and now it's here. So we set another track to resampling. Since we're kind of working in audio coming out of here and the audio is random, this isn't really something that you can do and um, just not resample to audio or else you'll just have no control whatsoever uh, about what's happening but <clears throat> that's just a preference so we'll arm the resampling track here we'll take the uh this random number and how this thing works is you can hit map right here and then whatever you press it will randomly generate a number um, and that number corresponds to where this will go. So the higher the number, the further up the dial it will go, which doesn't matter for file position because it can just go anywhere, but it does kind of matter for grain if we want to start messing with that because the higher grain, it will sound a lot harsher. So if we just do, we just keep it on file position. We don't even want to mess with anything else. smaller more of the sample is being played um, there is some decay so that's what you're hearing with the kind of echoey end of it um, which is which is nice and you wouldn't get that decay um, <clears throat> if I turn the decay and release all the way down you'll hear that it doesn't sound as pretty it just sounds a little more jarring <laughs> Actually, it sounds, sounds fine. So with the high grain, 
it just definitely sounds more synthetic because you're not hearing a lot of the sample. So if we were to randomize the grain thing, um, and you didn't want it to sound like like that, you wanted it to still sound like a sample. Um, you'd want to make sure that you're not letting it get too high. So what you do is you turn this down. So it's going to generate a number between basically one and four. And then uh, if you map that to grain, it will stay below that fourth threshold. So. just kind of listen for one little part that you like while it's playing. I liked it when it was doing this over here. So this part, you know, I like that part, so I'll change the color. I like that part. High pitch part is not so great. All right, you know, so then you got this. And you know, that's just one of the, uh, that's one section. Um, combination of samples, it might have been uh, different, you know, than if you were listening to it and you kind of were like, I like this part. Um, this is just kind of a generative way to come up with some new textures uh, without just doing a ton of legwork uh, processing the sample. Um, yeah, so shout out to, to Woolg for the random number generator. Um, of course, there's like a jillion different things you can do with it. Uh, but that was just a fun little way that I found today. So, yeah. All right. Bye-bye.